This is still my guy. And guess what? Our guy is the guy that their guy is always talking about. Bandwagon bus, man. Hell of a game. Two went for 500. BWB. Bandwagon bus. That's right. Buff Nation, what up? BWB, my bandwagon buffs. What it is, what it does, and what it's gonna be. It's your man's Harry Billion. Welcome to the Liberian Perspective. Please do me a favor and smash that subscribe button. Make sure to give me the thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you can get the videos as soon as I upload it to YouTube. All right, family, I gotta go ahead and get into this video real quick so that's all the business I got. You know what time it is. Let's work. So I got the news about another decommit about a couple of hours ago, but something feels a little different about this one. This one hits just a little different. And let me tell you why. But before I do that, let's go ahead and get the information first. And then I'll tell you why it hits just a little different for me at least in TLP Sports Club. Travis Hunter, stop playing around, okay? Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, Travis. All right, guys, let's go. It's better late than never, okay? So let's go, let's talk about this. Class of 2024 inside linebacker, Taylor Chandler flips to Missouri. This one is by Hayes for set class of 2024 interior offensive lineman Taylor Chandler of Nevada High flipped his commitment from Colorado to Missouri Sunday afternoon the six foot four 295 pounder have been committed to Colorado since February Mizzou was a dream school for me being able to stay home and play in the SEC is an unbelievable opportunity it was a very hard decision and I have so much love and appreciation for CU and the coaching staff ultimately me and my family decided Mizzou was best for me and in my future. They are on the up and coming and the program is having a great season. The coaching staff has developed the offensive line into one of the best in the country this season and that really stood out to me. His relationship with the coaching staff and their plan for him played a role in his decision as well. Me and the coaching staff are very close. Coach Jones, the old line coach, and I have built a very strong relationship and I love the way he coaches. I also have a good relationship with Coach Bean. Their plan for me is to come in and compete for the center spot. The show me state of offensive lineman joins coach Eli Drinkwitz in the Tigers top 35 2024 class. He is accompanied by five-star edge Williams Winari, four-star linebacker Brian Huff, and others. This is Chandler's recruiting profile. Chandler ranks as the number 1,116 player in the on three industry ranking, a weighted average that utilizes all four major recruiting media companies. He also taps in as the number 102 interior offensive lineman and the number 18 player in Missouri. He currently does not have an on three NIL valuation publicly listed. So if you're wondering what Chandler looks like, this is him. So what exactly do I think about this? This is what I would say about this. As it is customary on this channel, we do not vilify any player, any student, either current or have left the university. We don't vilify anyone here. What I would like to say to Chandler, my guy, congratulations. You got to make the decision that is best for you and your dream. As I stare at your photo right here that says MVP, you made a great decision to go and chase your dream where exactly you want to be at. Congratulations. If that was your dream school, they did not recruit you initially, but y'all kept in contact and then it finally made the move to bring you in. My guy, congratulations. We all all have to make that best decision that we can for us personally all right so i congratulate you on that one now let me talk to the base real quick let me tell you why this hits a little differently and why i necessarily don't care i don't care because i feel like coach prime and the colorado buffs we're gonna be just fine coach prime has mad connections okay for the lack of better phrasing coach prime is well connected in football as you stare at these young men right now a lot of these young men are gonna come back to play for coach prime they're gonna figure this out look at rick george Boy, that guy love himself some Coach Prime, man. Win, lose, or draw, he's with it, all right? I love him for that. I want you guys to understand this. For the BWBs, the bandwagon buffs who are just here for Coach Prime and are now falling in love with these Colorado Buffaloes, and also the fans that were here before us that continue to be fans, that haven't left because, oh, however they feel about this current season and what's going on. Listen, we all can tell you Coach Prime needs to work on this. Coach Prime needs to work on that. The young men don't block. One thing you have to understand is... 
Coach Prime, he knows how to recruit. The people that you see decommitting are making decisions for them and their families and their personal lives. While it may seem like, oh my gosh, this is not an oh my gosh situation. We want all of those young men to make decisions for their own lives. But Coach Prime is having conversations that we are not privy to. When a specific student decommits, there are a lot of things that are connected to that. That doesn't necessarily have anything to do with because they're losing. That is the first thing that we want to harp on. There are personal things that are attached to this. We just had a message from Smoke, all right? So people are going to buy into the different narratives. People are going to draw their own narratives when something like this happened. As these things start to roll out, please remember this is not unique to Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, and the Colorado Buffaloes. Recruits decommit and then recommit to other schools all the time. I just want to make it very clear that we understand recruits flip. We are notorious or Coach Prime is notorious for flipping one of the best cornerbacks, maybe football players, both way football players in Travis Hunter. He also flipped Cormani. So this is not unique. Colorado is not the only team that recruits and commitments decommit from. This happens all the time. It is coming at very inopportune times and it seems real skittish at points in time where the team is facing a difficult role of losing. When these things come out, they're going to make a lot more news you can say oh yeah it's because they're losing it's not always that simple please know that coach prime ain't losing one iota of sleep if you're into crypto and if you got iota when it was hot you probably got some money but i just want to let y'all know coach prime is not losing any sleep on these recruits decommitting to go to other schools i'm not vilifying talking down on any of these recruits i'm just saying we don't care do your thing we're gonna be fine just like you're following your dream we're gonna be okay we're following our dreams as well so we don't care we know Know that this team is still the hottest thing spinning and can't nobody stop this train this bandwagon buff train is going to be whoo -whoo down the street as long as coach prime is here i want you to be calm coach prime is doing the work he's going to get his hogs in here let them decommit it's okay let them follow their path but Coach Prime is very well connected and he's going to follow his path, get the necessary players to come to Colorado and play next season. That's the thing that gives me the most confidence. The fact that Coach Prime is consistent in winning. That's one thing that I know about him. He is very consistent. When he identifies a problem, he goes out and finds a solution. The thing about winners is they don't stay down forever. And that's what I want to make sure that people understand about the coach that you currently have, especially the ones who were already buff fans who don't really know coach prime that well winners don't stay down too long and coach prime is not going to stay down too long the communication that's happening we are not privy to that we don't know what's happening behind the scenes all we know is that anything that happens with coach prime is going to be breaking news you're not hearing about the commits that are decommitting from georgia i read about these things i read about all of the commits that are decommitting from other top programs just as well all of the time if i made a video about that it'll barely get any views because nobody cares the reason why we care so much is because this is Deion sanders and this team is the hottest thing spinning i wanted to come on here and just instill some confidence in the base to let you guys know it's okay let them go we're gonna be just fine buff nation pwb keep your head up we're gonna be all right trust me we're gonna be all right now i'm feeling more energized i don't know why i feel some kind of way that's why i say it hit a little different it doesn't hit the same. I can pump up our crowd and I can say, listen, Buff Nation, we're going to be all right. You just wait and see what happens. You just wait and see the recruits that Coach Prime has under his sleeve. Just wait and see the person now that he's bringing in, the conversation that he's having. I trust Coach Prime. I've always trusted Coach Prime, regardless of how I feel about some of the mistakes that he's making on the field. It don't matter to me. This is still my guy. And guess what? Our guy is the guy that their guy is always talking about. And I'm gonna leave it right there, okay? All right, family, that is all the information that I have for this video. Hope you got a little something out of it. And if you did, please help this channel grow by smashing that subscribe button. But I'm gonna have to leave it right there. You know who I am. I'm Harry B. And that right there was the Liberian Perspective. That's T-L-P Sports Club. Brah.